Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video we're going to go over five interesting Mac applications for the month of November 2018. Mac OS Mojave introduced a few new features to the Mac, one of them being system-wide dark mode, and our first couple of apps are here to help you take advantage of dark mode even more, with our first app being Night Owl. Night Owl is a very simple app that allows users to toggle dark mode on or off quickly without having to dive into system preferences. Once the app is installed, the Night Owl icon will be placed in your menu bar, and from here you'll be able to toggle dark mode on and off or have Night Owl be sun-based, which will keep light mode on during the day and of course turn dark mode on at night. If you want to schedule dark mode for a specific time, you can do that as well. If you click the settings button in the bottom right corner, you can adjust a few more options like turning off the owl sound that it plays when your computer switches modes or change the keyboard command to manually switch dark mode on or off. The next app that brings dark mode to the next level is specific to Safari and it's appropriately named Dark Mode for Safari. Dark mode for Safari makes your browser more comfortable and enjoyable by changing the color scheme to make web pages easier to read. This works well for people who work in low light environments or when you want to match your browser with the new Mojave dark mode. Once you download the app and enable the dark mode for Safari extension, all of your web pages will immediately display the darker theme. If you click on the dark mode for Safari extension icon in the Safari toolbar, you'll have more options at your fingertips like turning on dark mode, having it automatically adapt when system wide dark mode is on or adapt to a certain schedule. There's also a softer dark mode available and you can create custom lists in which dark mode is not used because let's be honest, not all sites really look that great in dark mode. Our next app is called Breaks for Eyes and if you haven't already guessed by its name, this app is designed to help give you a break from your screen. We all know staring at a computer screen for prolonged periods of time is not good, but when we're in the zone working, it's hard to remember to take a break. Breaks for Eyes reminds users to take a break every 20 minutes, and it asks you to do so by looking at something else that's about 20 feet away from you for 20 seconds. There is a menu bar icon if you really can't take a break or want to skip your breaks for a few hours, but that kind of defeats the purpose of the app. On the flip side, if you do want to keep your Mac awake all day every day because you just can't stop working or really just don't want your Mac to go to sleep, then Amphetamine is the perfect app for you. Like most of the apps featured in this video, Amphetamine lives in your menu bar and is designed to keep your Mac, displays, and connected drives awake when you need it most. This app has been around for a little while, but it has been redesigned recently and also adds a few new custom options for users, like Triggers, which keeps your Mac awake when certain apps are running, or it's on a specific network, or on a schedule, etc. There's also Drive Alive, which is a feature that helps you keep selected drives awake by writing a tiny amount of data to each drive periodically. And of course, if you click on the menu bar icon, you can keep your Mac awake indefinitely or for a custom period of time. Finally, Textlicious is our last app, and even though it has a ridiculous name, it's a simple app that could be useful to those who want to spice up their text a bit. Textlicious allows you to use bold and italic letters in places that ordinarily doesn't support them, such as text messages or web applications. It switches normal letters to styled letters. These letters hide in parts of the Unicode that aren't usually accessible via the keyboard. Once you have the app installed, using Textalicious is really, really easy. For this example, I want to write out a tweet, but I really want to add some flair or excitement to it, and so all I have to do is highlight the text, right click, and then under services, you'll see all of your various options. If you want to be real sassy, you can go with my personal favorite, which is clapping out each word. In all seriousness, Textlicious is a tool you probably didn't think you'd need, and you probably don't need, but for those who do, it's definitely nice to have. So that's it for this month's episode of 5 Interesting Mac Apps. Go ahead and let us know in the comment section down below if you have an app that you want us to check out that we might be able to use for the next episode. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.